Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about a weird thing that I've done a bunch of times on stream. And every time I do it, I get a question in chat that's like, why Why did you CD dollar PWD? That doesn't really make much sense. Uh, but anyway, let me show you why I do that and give you a quick little demo of it. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so for today what we're going to do is I'm just going to clone a get repo. It doesn't really matter what it is. And this is usually where uh, this comes up while uh, streaming. Uh, so we're going to do get clone, uh, I don't know, identify, sure, that seems like a repo that we can use. And uh, what usually happens is I'll be inside this repo in some other tab. So for instance, I've seeded in, into it here. You know, we may run get status or ls or whatever and show the file contents here. And then somewhere else, some other tab that I'm working on, I may delete that repository. Uh, and maybe I'll delete it and then recreate it. I don't know, maybe, <laughs> maybe I got distracted, worked on something else, deleted this because I thought I was done with it, but then came back to it later. This tab over here looks like it's inside of the identified directory, uh, but if we try and interact with it, you'll see that like ls returns nothing, get status, uh, raises an error, no such file or directory, uh, but we know that this directory exists because you know, if we do ls temp explains identify, you'll see that it definitely does exist. Um, <clears throat> And the fix for this is to do cd $pwd. Now, pwd is a special uh, variable in bash that represents the current working directory you're in. Uh, you can also call the pwd uh, command line, and it'll also give you the same value back. Uh, this is a command. This is a environment variable. Or I guess it's a shell variable. Uh, is it an environment variable? Let's see. Uh, 9.3-c import os print os.environ wd. Okay, it is also an environment variable. Um, and so if I do cd dollar pwd, what this is going to do is it's going to use the absolute path of this directory, which has been which has been deleted, and it's going to change that to that directory. Um, and so you can see we have now cd in here. We can now run ls again, and it works again. Now you might wonder why didn't this work in the first place? And to understand this a little bit better, you kind of have to think about how file systems work, which is a little bit too advanced for this video. Uh, but let's just, at a high level, say that uh, directories and files on Linux-like machines are represented as kind of a number, an, an inode. And when you have the working directory set to a particular location, it's really just setting it to that representation of that uh, the disk file. And when that file is removed, it's still pointing to that deleted file, but it's no longer useful because that file has been collected. It's been, <laughs> it's been deleted. Uh, and so when you CD to the name of something, it's going to look up what the node of that is and then set that to the working directory. So it's just like a little, a little fiddly thing about how working directories work. Um, so that's why I occasionally do this kind of silly thing. Um, and you can do this anywhere else. like. This it does nothing uh, if you know this hasn't been deleted, um, but just kind of resets your working directory to the real location of that named path. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.